Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Space Engineers. Uh, it's kind of hard to see what's going on right now. I found some magnesium, so obviously I'm grabbing some because magnesium is just joyous. And I have also installed several ejectors onto the gopher so that I can get rid of excess stone while mining. So I just end up with glorious, glorious magnesium. But I think this is going to be my last uh, load that I'm bringing back to the Mastodon. As we've already got, I don't know, 20, 30,000 back there? That, uh, I mean, that I've taken back so far. A uh, lot of it has been processed already. And there's another 20-ish thousand there. So, we should be good. Just gotta haul my ass out of this cave here and get my butt Ooh, almost listed there to the side. That would not be good. <laughs> That's the tunnel I drove down. Then I realized I would not be able to get out of that tunnel, so I, tr <laughs> I, I had to cut myself a secondary tunnel that wasn't so steep so I could actually fly out at a reasonable speed. And off we back to the Mastodon, which has uh, got its way up the hill. We are to the area where the scout plane is. <laughs> My English, good. Where the scout plane yeah, is? Ah, whatever. You know, I'm a native English speaker, but sometimes I say the darndest things. And oh god, it's a little hard to arrest a fall when you're really this when you're this heavy. Ooh. And park on up with that lovely magnesium. And I did a goof. Did I connect it and then turn off? And then did I not connect it and then turn on its batteries for recharge? I did. So I just need to put your battery on to auto for a second, then connect, then put you back on to recharge. And I won't be able to do it from here, but I need to pat back onto that. Make sure I turn off its control groups here. Nope, I, I hit eight. I just missed nine. And we are charging and all of our thrusters are off and our ejectors are off. Very good. All right. So I got a bunch of magnesium. It's being processed by the refineries here. We've also got 20,000 there. All that's being processed. we got another 39 there and 51 there, which means beautiful quantities of bullets to be made. So we're not going to be able to run out of ammo anytime soon. We have food on us. So we don't have to worry about it. And we can take back control of the Raven, who is over here on the side. Park. And we need to go and get some future exploration done. As we can get this thing up into the air. Come on, let's get some height here. Excellent. And then we can coast away. And while that's coasting, before it gets too far out of range, let's get the Mastodon moving. Because that is still at its 20 kilometer range here. So we'll just let that coast until it's like 10k out. Oh God, this thing's getting heavy. Come on, boost. Boost to get this thing moving. One and a half million kg. And we're trying to drive it up a hill here. It needs that rocket engines in order to uh, to get itself going. 
which I kind of want to improve. I wonder if I should add another one right below them. Double up the rocket engines to four as I run over some more of these, like, titanium trees that are capable of doing anything. Stopping this giant machine in its tracks. Uh, excellent. All right. Got some momentum. Uh, looks like we are good for a bit here, so I'm going to let this thing coast as we do the uh, pop back and forth between... Oh, can I not control the raven? Control. Thank you. As we pop back and forth between different machines here. Ooh. Once we get out of that area there, it is just another desert. Uh, expedition base pod. Interesting. Uh, let's set ourselves back flying that direction. Okay. So, we just need to get out of this, in, uh, this initial area. And once we're past that ridge line, essentially, over there, we're good. We have no issues. And I'm actually interested in checking out that base pod. I want to see what it is like. And... Oh, it looks like I should be able to drive down this. This looks passable. Yeah, this looks really passable. As we slide on down. And the... Uh, Scout plane flies overhead. I'm really enjoying having to juggle back and forth between the two. It's actually really entertaining, and I should probably get onto the scout plane real quick. <laughs> yeah, it's gone flying into a mountain. That is a good reason to uh, get back onto it and get this thing to turn around. Alright. Now we can see where the Mastodon we can go and dive on down here and figure out a route for it. So I believe, we go to our downward facing camera here, that it should be able to do this sort of green pass quite easily. Yeah. Oh yeah, we can, we can we can drive that easily. Oh, and then there's a, uh, this is a dried up lake bed. There might be some good resources in the bottom of that. Ah, like there. There's a resource patch. And there's some more. Yeah, there is some resources here. So we'll definitely have to prospect that and see what's there. A couple more on the opposite shore. But let's go take a quick peek here at this base pod as I want to see what this thing is like uh, we're still a bit away from it so we'll just get some altitude and then set ourselves in that direction and just pop back to the Mastodon for a moment as that thing gets closer because uh, if I wanted to, I I really could. Oh, it's iron. Might as well mark it. I could set my um, antenna range up to like 50 kilometers. And this planet isn't that big. So I could uh, theoretically control this plane from a large portion of the planet. Alright, a little bumpy here, but we're looking at one large gat, a bunch of uh, uh, a bunch of smalls, a bunch of uh, interior turrets. So let's pull away before that thing shoots at us, because this plane is definitely not rated for combat. It is a super light scout, and let's go set ourselves down on that ridge line right there. Because then that way we can just be 
down on the ridge line. Everything will be good. We can drive that direction. Or should we? Do we even need anything from that uh, base pod? I mean, really. Or should we just ignore it? I don't think there's actually anything there that I really need. I think we could just ignore it. In that case, we'll pitch up, get some more height here. And uh, we'll set this little plane down on one of these bridge lines up here. As we have to find a way Oh, we might need to go that way anyway. We're going to the Desert Plateau. We, this might be impassable here. Or at least too bothersome to drive over. I mean, it looks like I might be able to fit through that canyon there. There's a little bit of an oasis down there. Which might be nice to get to. I could definitely get the bison in here. But the Mastodon is a different story. Oh, there's an oasis there. That's a decent sized oasis too. I'd like to go and mine that. And that seems functional to be able to get the Mastodon through to there. Okay, good. All right, so that's where I'll plunk this thing down right on the ridge line here so then i know which way the oasis is to drive <laughs> oh this thing is somewhat annoying to fly and is especially annoying sometimes to land uh, the physics isn't that good so like this, uh, I'm going too far sideways. Got too much sliding around. So we'll just do a little bit of a, a spin this way. Try to reset. Heading straight in now. And come on down. Or landing. Perfect. We'll park it up. Turn off its dampeners. 21 hours of power more than enough and it's just six kilometers ah, just about seven kilometers away so let us get to driving as if i can get to the oases you know i'm at 92 percent hydrogen my batteries are probably pretty good right now but i always love to just make sure that i'm topped off because you never know when your uh, next refuel is Besides, you get to mark them all up and find all those oases. And I'm using fuel to uh, power my little butt forward here. Mastodon, you are capable of going over all the terrain. Excellent. Uh. So, this lake has a lot of materials at it. Got some nickel. I've just been marking them all up. There's iron, iron, cobalt, iron all the way out here. Even more iron. Yeah. If, oh, more magnesium. That is excellent. Uh, oh, oh, or iron. I was like deorbiting onto this planet. These, uh, you know, beyond the fact that you probably just want to sit on a uh, on an oasis for the ice, setting up a mining outpost on one of the uh, dried lake beds seems like a decent choice. I mean, there's just a bunch of resources around here, even more magnesium this is this is two spots 
right beside each other. You needed to defend yourself in this horrible world. It'd be a good place to get a lot of bullets. And another one. Ah! where the scout plane is. And if I remember correctly, we landed the scout plane on the left side of the area that I wanted to go in. Oh, even more magnesium? Dude. I might actually have to send the, the gopher back into this area to pick up some of this stuff because it's kind of nice. Uh, what do we got here? We got iron, nickel, magnesium. So I've got iron and nickel things before. This is the first time I've had iron magnesium. Magnesium. Okay, there we go. All in the right, all in the one spot here. Titanium trees. All right, let's head on over to uh, that. Oh, jeez. I should probably not go that fast going over these uh, uh, sand dunes. You can get some air as the uh, master. God! I shouldn't do that. Oh man, I shouldn't do that. <laughs> uh, let's turn off our boost thrusters. That's probably the reason why we're having such fun. Uh, kind of jashy. Don't jump your only lifeline. <laughs> <laughs> the rover you've been building for episodes upon dozens of episodes. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's me. But, looks like we should be here relatively quick. Scale plane's up on that ridge line, and so we need to go right from there. Marks and cobalt, of course, because cobalt is uh, needed. Always. And. No, let's see. Too far away, don't care. Won't get that stuff. I have to drive off the ridge to get it. We should. be able to get through here. Right? Okay, now we need boosters. Come on, get me up this hill. Oh, come on, get me up this hill. Full power to the wheels, full power to the boosters, and we are just uh, squeaking it. Okay. Yeah, we gotta upgrade those. Let's go upgrade our boosters. Yeah, I have everything I need for a pair of conveyor junctions. And I can't do it from here. Wrong angle. Oh, I have my engines on. Okay. I did not realize I had my my engines on. Batteries are being charged, though. We'll turn off our engines. Don't need them right now. We need thrust. Grab another... Uh, junction and do a little hippity hoppity welding to get it done. Although I think this one I might be able to uh, to reach this way. No? Come on. Ah, barely. Excellent. And now for a pair of hydrogen thrusters. Not withdraw these plastic tubes. Why can I, not with, can I not withdraw those? I'm probably just full. Put that on there. And can I get the other one started at least? Yeah, got it on there at least. All right. And then, not enough inventory space. Everything but the large steel tubes, eh? Yeah. Alright. Just need some large steel tubes. Get rid of all 
all this extra stuff. Get me a bunch of large steel tubes. And... Bottom them. Doubled up my little booster thrusters. So that we should hopefully be able to get ourselves up this ridge line. So, I'm going to need to add those into uh, da, 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 my little group here. Hydrogen thrusters. Uh, thrusters from the Mastodon. Save. These are all on. And we just need to turn off our damp, turn our dampers back on and turn our Break off in all. Oh, look at that. Oh, easy up that ridge. Go, my little boosting thrusters. And now to handle the downward section. Which makes me think I should have some uh, brake thrusters on this thing as well at some point. But go, go suspension. It is capable of handling that. Excellent. Thrusters off. We're back to relatively terrain. Although it is a little bothersome. Come on. Where's that oasis? Oh, it's that way. Well, did I, la did I land at the wrong thing? I think I went into the wrong uh, portion of this canyon. I should have gone that way. That is all right. We have thrusters now. We can get over any obstacle and get to our glorious, glorious oases in order to uh, send down our punch drills and get some more ice. Ah, uh, ah, victory! Victory! Joy to the world. We have arrived. And there is ice showing up on the scanners. All I have to do now is just run over a couple trees. Bonk. And park it up. Right in the middle of this little oasis. I paint my uh, little... Well, I paint the Mastodon uh, green here, it would be camouflaged. Uh, so, we have an oasis. Absolutely excellent. Uh, let's turn the drills on. Let's extend the drills down into the ground. And let's go see how they do. Uh, I'm gonna go this way. They are drilling down. Uh, how, how do I get out of my rover again? Right, I do it over here. Leap off the back. Bada boom. They are probably getting all sorts of, yes, organics. So I'll be able to make some more food as well. It is not just ice, but this glorious organics. Now, now they're getting the ice. <laughs> so H2O2 generators, they are all on. Our tanks are getting filled, and that is amazing. And we'll be able to raise, punch, raise, punch, and just do all sorts of good work here with the Mastodon's drills. Get all the power! as we recharge everything. H2s. So those are all full of ice. And we have ice 93,000 in our storage compartments. Holy crap, we got a bunch. Uh, we should be able to up our drills uh, inch forward or backwards a little bit here and then punch them down again. And then while this is all going, we should be able to turn on our 
hydrogen engines and check our batteries and get them fully topped off, which they basically are. So I guess we don't really need to do that right now. Yeah, we don't need to do that right now. We just need to uh, run our batteries to uh, get some ice and to make it into hydrogen. We'll just back up a bit here until we get to a new fresh area. And then send... Oh, those are the uh, other uh, pistons I have here. Send the drills back down. Excellent. While the Mastodon's doing that, we have to find ourselves a way out of here. Up, up, up. There we go. Off we go. So, Monsieur Mastodon is in the oasis that I found. But now the question is, how do I get him out of there? Uh, this looks promising, except for that. That looks a little sketch, but I think I can drive over that. And then it's free sailing. Uh, what about this passage? Uh, that looks decent. If not, literally just turn left, right? <laughs> turn left, right? Is <sighs> turn left, correct. That's a better way of saying it. Okay, so the full left passage is too narrow, but that passage right there, that's easy to drive. And then we're just on to more desert. And that's easy peasy. We're almost, uh, it's almost not deserty. It's almost more Badlands y esque. But let us go and scout it out a bit. Because we've got. What is this here? It's two kilometers away, three kilometers away. <gasps> is that a Helios? Ooh. We've got th cool things to go and scout while we're getting fueled up back at the Mastodon. So that's, what, seven, eight kilometers away. So let's go into uh, autopilot. Let's check this drills. We'll turn the drills off and retract them. Oh God, I'm missing up my buttons here. And we've got 200,000 ice! Hell yeah! Raven's getting some kilometers away, so we'll take back control of it. <gasps> There's something there on the horizon. There's a crash ship. Oh, we totally have to go there next. See what crashed ship wonders there are. Uh, looks like it's relatively easy to fly out here. No worries about that. I not fly out here. Drive out there. Oh, and there's a Kestrel 20 kilometers away. There's a lot more of these crash ships that I've been running into on uh, this portion of the, of the playthrough. Like, I've had that mod on this entire time. And then all of a sudden, it's just like, here you go, a bunch of crash ships. That one, if I'm not mistaken, has a uh, a jump drive on it. It has an unfinished jump drive that has a bunch of uh, uh, superconductors, I think it is. There's some gold and such on there that we can salvage. Uh, but let's see, how far are we away? 12 kilometers. I got plenty of more space. Uh, that'd be a canyon. This, this be some mountain range we're heading towards. Uh, Mastodon is not going to be able to drive over mountains. That's for sure. So, we're going to need to... We're going to need to find a route through here that doesn't involve driving off a cliff. Oh. Oh, jeez. I mean, once you get down there, it looks fine, but 
The question is how to get down there. I mean, we could do something crazy like drive it off a cliff and parachute it like we did with the bison. But that sounds absolutely crazy. Oh. Maybe not. That looks drivable. Intense, but drivable. Yeah, we can get into it right there. That That's... Like, I can mastodon... I can jump it into that little crevice there. You know, that's possible. And I want to make sure I don't get too far away. I'm at 14 right now. So I could jump it into that little cre crevice here. And then I could drive it along the bottom here. But does that help me is a really good question. Uh, it gets real narrow there real quick. I don't know if that helps me. Or if I should just be... Oh my god. Am I going to have to make a giant detour? Like a giant detour left or right? Like, I'm basically heading back towards... If I head that direction, I'm, I'm essentially heading back towards an old wreck of mine. The Tempest. What's the point in that? I should just, like, take these wheels and just turn them off. We'll just go entirely based off the uh, thrusters on this thing. If I had to choose, I'd want to flank right, because I haven't been there before. And it is more towards what the uh, desert plateau like in that direction. So let's go see what's on that side of the mountain range. Oh man, that is a very unfortunate geological feature to get in my way. If this was the bison, I could easily just throw myself off our ledge, parachute down, and then if I wanted to get anywhere in here, I could just use my thrusters to uh, do my cheeky driving up walls and such. But there is some pretty decent terrain for driving at the bottom there. Uh, not able to get down in that section. But possibly over here. This looks... Possible? Maybe? Like, it, this would be very bumpy, but I believe that I could... Oh, yeah, I could take it down that right there. Oh, is this... Okay, here's a real question. I can definitely drive down this. But, is it too narrow for me to drive the Mastodon all the way down there? Is that too narrow? I'm not sure. I don't think it is. I think I can do it. And then I would be down there and continuing on uh, towards plateau, but that's not really the direction I want to go. I should just continue flying uh, this direction, because if the plateau is this way, that's the way I should go. 12 kilometers away. Okay. I might not need to bridge that. I might be able to just get around the right side of all of this. So once I get out of there, I just head towards this area here. Let's just land. And might be able to get around all this stuff. Okay. Okay, I think I think this will uh this will do. I'll bleed off some speed here, and thankfully we've got just nice open area where I can put down essentially anywhere. So as soon as I bleed off some speed, get it down low enough, just flatten out, and what the landed. Damper's off, parked, 
and out of there. So, that's my next goal. The Raven Scout plane is that direction. Oh, and uh, I think it was funny here. Let me just grab the spectator camera because it's been way left behind. Uh, where are we now? Whoa, what? we made some progress. We got all the way over to this bridge line. So, if you remember at the end of the last episode, I'm just like, what's making this clanging noise, if I'm remembering correctly? And I took the spectator camera and I flew it around thinking like, okay, there's got to be something somewhere that's like, broken that is clanging and I couldn't find anything. I was flying around inside the armor blocks until I came over here and I came over to this section and I found this little thing and I have no idea how this little thing got in here. It's sealed. It, this originally was sandwiched between this armor plate and the plate below it that's you know beside the connector here you can't see the edges between them because I'm inside the armor plate but it was originally just here right in the middle of this area and it was it was inside the physical model being squished together somehow and the thing was just freaking out and giving all the clang sounds that we were hearing at the end of the last episode. That's what was happening. Driving along a little bit further, it worked its way back, popped through into this area, and then worked its way to the side, and then just flopped into here, and now has a little bit of space because that model doesn't take up the full physical volume. So now it's just sitting there. But I don't want it there. And I'm going to have to, like, dig the way through there to get to it, or... I just go into grids, go to block count, and what is it? It's three blocks, right? It's got to be this one. Yeah, this one there. Remove. And uh, there we go. Little bastard's gone. <laughs> and it's all fixed. The, my clanging was some magical little small grid that... Uh, somehow got into the middle of my rover and I have no idea how my guess it was part of the welding pit that phased through into the blocks not the welding pit the grinding pit but other than that I have no bloody idea <laughs> just that's what happened Ah, uh. but we could just call this episode here. I mean, we made good progress. We've driven. Oh, how far have you gone? We started the episode way over here, so we have gotten like uh, a good 10k over the terrain. Scout plane's gone even further. Hermes, a Helios. Oh, God, how many freaking wrecks are there going to be for me to go and explore? Where did this Hermes come from? That wasn't there a few minutes ago. Jeez. And we got all the way to another beautiful oasis. Uh, so I think I'll probably sit here for the evening. I'll... Uh, just keep working on refining magnesium, digging out more and more ice and stockpiling a bunch of resources and probably sending out the gopher to go and grab things out of the local hills which seem to be rich with resources but I should be able to pop back to my character here are we done refining that magnesium? Uh, seems to be 68,000 organics. Holy crap. We've got 170 there, 157 there. Kind of want to head back to that uh, merchant in the last episode and sell some of my magnesium and make millions of dollars. But I can 
order myself up. Another uh, hundred or so ammo containers, making myself feel that much safer. Because more bullets means happy turrets. You gotta have the bullet juice. Keep those turrets to singing. But that is gonna be it for now. We've made more progress. Next episode, we're gonna have to find a way around that mountain range. And the desert plateau here. So we're gonna have to probably may, uh, bison up another plateau, I'm guessing, in the future. But once we get to the scout plane, we should be close enough that we can get the scout plane uh, to the desert plateau without running out of uh, range. And then we can scout it out and see what we're going to need to do. Because at some point I know I'm going to have to build another bridge. So hopefully that's some, some, sometime soon because it's always fun. That's going to be it for now. Thanks for watching. Good hunting out there, fellow space engineers.